what's up everybody you're just joining on the youtube archive thank you for watching this thank you for everybody live here and let's get to it so up top you can see that i am at world tier 14 and i am almost to 15. my goal here today is to farm up to world tier 15 and to go ahead and uh just farm up as much stuff as i can uh i'm trying to pick up a few things that Thiago has and that's where we're going so okay cg uh so you can see what our next thing is going to be is a reroll. so we need 410 410 shards for that or uh drop pod resources and at that point we will uh start working on getting drop pod resources for other stuff so i'm gonna show this to y'all live how i do this the place is crawling with insurgents i need to clear them out all right i tell y'all what it is so hot in here absolutely so hot I could get something, I'd be frickin' danger. That'll take care of at least one of them.
<laughs> All right, we're gonna throw those out for now. We have went up a little bit. Shoo! My goodness, it is super hot in here. I don't think there's actually anything here right now. But I'm going to do is throw out some grenades before I go out. Is the main problem to start with. So he should be dead here in a few seconds. Alright, now. Ah! So hard to get that to work sometimes. That'll take out a few of them. There we go. Got him. All right, so this area is now complete. It took me up just a little bit. Go ahead and grab anything out here. Now, we actually spent a lot of ammo doing that. But here's our second chest. Nothing good. And then here is our harvest point. So how do you like American Truck Simulator, CG? I don't think I would like a driving game too much anymore, to be honest. I I used to love the NASCAR games, but it was because you could make your own cars and stuff like that, and you could tweak them however you wanted. You, you essentially, you could build a supercar that went a thousand miles per hour in those games, <laughs> and it was legit. I mean, it wasn't cheating in the game, so... 
All right, there we go. Now, before we go and sell anything, we're going to go ahead and head out to the next place. And what I like to do, so what I, I do is I come here and I go through this first area. But the second thing is I'm going to go to the hangman's tree and you'll see exactly what I do when I do this. And we'll get, we'll probably get two to three hundred um, titanium from what I'm doing. So you, you really want to make sure that you do pick up everything in this run and want to actually get it. Because I've got uh, anywhere from 5 to 75 titanium, I think, from one of these harvest points. I think it was 75, it said. I'm not sure. It might have been 15, but it might have... I think it was 75, but it, it, it kind of looked like a 1, I don't know. So... You notice there's nothing here already. Uh, what has happened, I guess, is that I already come through and I didn't think about that. So, since that's going on though, we've got this. Uh, now we got us, uh, it looks like a shotgun with the new visualization on it. So, now if you do this without doing the harvest points, it cuts down the time tremendously. Uh, it will cut down the time by four minutes, and it only takes about six minutes total to do this if you're not fighting. So, That is our, since we fast traveled, that's our third uh, chest. This is our third harvest point. Our fourth chest in this area. And our fifth harvest uh, No, this is our fourth harvest point. So what it is, this area has four chests and four harvest points. And then between the two sub areas here. It's funny. Oh, fun. So once you uh, get done with this, all you got to do is fast travel back. Now you would get, I'm going to say probably around 12 drops total from harvesting the or from killing enemies and doing bots but what you do is you just come in here and as soon as you fast travel back now you don't have to pick this up and since that's not there this is not going to be here what i'll have to do is travel out and then do all of it again but if that's not there then these chests will not return so, see, it's gone. So, let's go ahead and sell off what we got now and then come back and do this all again. And we'll probably get our uh, World Tier 15 after a few times. The reason I'm running stuff like this is that you get a lot more uh or you get world tier whereas if you go other places you don't get world tier but if you go to the challenges stuff the drop pod challenge you don't get world tier at all all right i'm gonna go ahead and trash that um that's the only one from my experience this is going to give me more to trash it so that gave me 10 and I think it would probably it would have probably given me about 10,000 so 
We'll see how much that would do. All right. We're going to sell all of the uh, all of the blue. We don't need any of them. Uh, that gave me 27,000. So that one Okay, so for about I'm not going to say it's not going to give me 10,000. It'd probably give me about 3,000. So it will give me right at about 10 of them, I think. Uh, next blue piece we get, let's see here. This is a 39. Actually, tell you what, no. Um, that gives us more scrap to sell it. So we're going to have to start selling those too. I'm just going to have to put these up uh, and not worry about them then and just keep the legendaries on me. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do this here. One reason I do still suggest breaking down your purples is you get a lot of other things that you need for that. But this is going to give us a total of 88. That's 98 just for this one run. So now, uh, let's not worry about him just yet. And we'll do the entire run. Um, I don't know why it does this to where it, it it takes it away from you. After we have done this, we will go out and actually do some of the hunts. But literally, once I've got some of these things done, I don't need to do uh, the hunts really anymore, except for just to get here, I guess. interesting thing i have learned if you set your world tier below auto world tier level up then when you go and turn in your quest that gives you gear your gear will be at whatever world tier level that was so if it's say it's at world tier um 15 or just say it's at world tier uh 11 or no, 13, you're going to get level 40 gear. Yeah, level 40 gear. And then at world tier 15, you're going to um, get level 42 gear. So if I have it set to go, say at 14, it's going to be 41. If i done the quest with world tier auto advance on, which... How's it doing that? Oops, oh, oh, wrong thing. There we go. You have this on. It's auto set highest available tier. And you do it on 12. Or you don't have that on and you do it on 12. It's going to give you something that is level 40 here. Uh, actually, level 39 here. So, level 13 is going to give you level 40 here. But say i have it i'm on 12 and i advance to 14 but i have this on when i go and i actually turn it in and i'm on world tier 14 it actually gives me stuff at world tier 14 drop so i don't know it, it's cool uh it, it's i think it's a a glitch of some kind that it it does that but it still works so all right, this time I'm mainly going to focus on going through. Uh, the place is crawling with insurgents. I need to clear them out.
said they ruled the French. Only three of them right here, so I'm gonna let those go away and give him a hope, false sense of hope, and when he comes out, then we're good to go. Thank you, CG. Uh, that is so weird. It done that. You subbed earlier and it just now popped up and done it. All right. Before we go anywhere else, we're going to go ahead and auto loot. <laughs> Yeah, that's switch for you. So that area is cleared out. Now we got to go get the second part. All right. I want to get right here, throw out a few... Take him out first if I can. So what this is, uh, this is a legendary with ultimate storm whip on it. And this is a really good legendary. to do is freeze him and then shoot him.
<laughs> there we go. I believe that's everybody here. All right. Uh, now, according to my radar, there's nobody else here. We're getting ever so close to World Tier 15. Yeah, CG bad resubbed to me, and it never once said that he did. I think it upset him. Uh, unless it, it's, it popped up and I just didn't hear it for some reason. Uh, which is entirely possible, but... I don't think this would happen. So anyway, after you go through here, and y'all will see uh, a video of this, of me doing this. Um, if you want to see that, and it explains exactly what I'm doing. Once you go through there, come on over here. Um, come back up here. This time we're actually going to fight our way through. So we don't have to... We don't have to just settle for just picking up whatever happens to already be there. All right. So for these guys, honestly, the the submachine gun does a little bit better. What's that? Oh, we got us something new there. Oh, that's a visual customization. Uh, what I I kind of do if I'm farming this stuff, I do go ahead and skip these, but if you can be bothered to spend the extra minute or two to take to get the harvest, it tremendously helps. Now see five titanium right there. Proof five titanium. Proof that they do drop titanium. People were telling me, oh they don't drop titanium. Yeah they do. This area is now clear. Hold on one second, y'all. I got a message to my mom.
All right, I'm sorry. Gosh. All right, so now that we've picked up those, we've got three more harvest points and two more uh, things here to get. Now, the best thing I have found, the best way to go about this, go ahead and pop these out. Go ahead and pick this up. You can kill that guy and then pick this up and you'll have enough time still. I want to rush this out, so what I'm going to do is go ahead down here and get them all out. Say hello, everybody. Look at my world tier, it's almost up. to go ahead and auto loot as they drop stuff because from what I've heard if you don't pick it up before it's before or you die then you don't always get it but if you do pick it up before you die then you're guaranteed to get it all right so now we've already got that one down there Let's go back up here. Usually that's the last one, but he stays on the back side. And if you throw a turret back there, then it's easy to get. I didn't really get a whole lot that was really nice this time, but it's all right. He's on there. Bad has been doing his own thing or something here. I don't know. All right. Now that we've done that, hmm, he's posted. The only thing I've seen him post is on uh, the the gaming friendship thing. Now, it, see that since I run this after I restart the game, or 
after I, I traveled away and come back, that was there. This will be here now too. So you can freely get seven harvest points and six chests by running this. Sometimes the chest gives you two pieces of gear. So you can potentially get 12 pieces of gear. Uh, I have got 11 pieces of gear doing this one time, so. as that one there just gave me two pieces, so. Now, what I actually suggest doing, even though I, I did say, hey, go ahead and grab the the harvest points I do kind of suggest not going through uh, bothering with them if you're really pressed for time because you can get a lot more uh, you will get a lot more just by selling off your gear and converting it to titanium than you will by harvesting stuff so I'm just going to do this maybe two times and we'll sell what we got and then see where we can go. And then we'll uh, go ahead and get our stuff here. Uh, we'll do a hunt to get that. Okay. But if you get free gear, you get free gear, so it's good to go. The reason I don't go past the, the first part there is that there are three chests out of the five or six. I think it's five chests, and all, three of them do not respawn. I'm not going to hit up the other thing there. We're just going to go for the chest and the easy harvest points. I think I'll just go ahead and uh, finish the run here after this one and we'll go do something to get Wolf here 15. I'm so excited to finally have a character up that high. Now there is another place, another two or three places you can go to get chests and stuff like this, but none of them give you as many chests as this that I recall, so. Before the last patch, this was actually giving me, I believe, uh, it was actually giving me two uh, items almost every single time. So, plus, on top of that, it was giving me a little bit of scrap as well. I'll go ahead and grab this one. Since we're heading out, I'll grab the other one. All right. I think the one that we're going to go do is split tooth. I have heard that there's a, another way to get a lot of uh, gear from just him, but it requires you dying. And it says that once you, according to what I was reading, once you die enough, your world tier goes down. So I'm not looking forward to making my world tier go down, so. I don't necessarily do that. But after we hit World Tier 15, we're going to go ahead and start going the other things. Okay. So, we got, from that right there that we just done, we got 20 blues and 3 purples. And we'll actually look purple. Go ahead and sell the blues. Now we also got up to 5,400 uh, scrap 
for all that running through. So let's see, sell these 20 items. And that's 50,000. Wow. All right. We got us a gun here. We're going to sell it. Uh, we will sell that. Actually, you know what? That's a, a good one. Um, I might hold on to that. That is containment overseer's gloves, and I have not had one of those, but that's fine. We'll sell it. That one there, I'm going to hold on to, uh, but... Okay, so that gave me 8,000. For 8,000, that's two of them. I basically I get 25. Uh, that's about five more. All right, so I can buy 200 this time. This is where it comes in handy. Okay, so now we have 299. Let's go over here and put up stuff. There. Unless it's legendary or I'm wearing it, I don't want it right now. Alright. I have that because it's got a storm whip and anomaly surge. That's got fusion blast and icebreaker. That has got weakening and icebreaker. Um, okay. So, stand tall, mitigation death. What I do is I find one that I like with a secondary mod that I actually like and can see using, and I, I stash that thing. <laughs> like, that's got dumb dumb bullets on it. That is a really good skill if you're looking to do assault damage or weapon damage. So, uh,. Untamed power is actually really, really good for um, my other character, so I'm keeping that one. But you see we got 299, so I don't think that I want to... We're going to come over here, and we have five. So all we're going to do this time is re-roll. We're going to just sell all of these. So 299, we can make 598. Uh, 598 drop pod. Listen to that. Now, I've already got that, 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 and that, so we're going to re-roll. Torrential downpours gloves. I think I have those already. Uh, Grim Inventor gloves. I may have those. Torrential downpours leg. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, Molten Idola. I do not have that one. So it looks like a potential of. One, two, at least. And then we've got, oh, reliable, I already have. So, one, two, and then we may get three and four, depending on what we have. Let's look at the gloves that we actually have already. So we got, oh, reliable. This is the Borealis. This is the Plague Sour. That's the Torrential Downpour. 
So the only glove that we actually need is the other one there that he had. Let's calculate then. We've got that. We need that one, that one, and that one. I've already got that and that and that and that. Uh, that is going to cost a total of 18... About right at 20, 2,700 or something like that. I can't think to get all of them, but let's go ahead and go out and do some other places. What I'm trying to do is get a complete set, and it's really hard to get a complete set of something. It just does not re-roll it and give it to you really good so oh i'll show y'all another place that's decent to go through but it's kind of iffy you can die here fairly easily Heck, it's darn dark here, ain't it? Well, this should be interesting. All right, not the one that we skills want. to good use. Actually, I know where we need to go. We got to go back up this way. not that one, but it's on down here, I believe. Have to cross a little bridge to get to it. And... No. Okay. This is the right area, but I don't know where to pick it up. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, this one is actually out here. Man, that's a big chain. That's a giant bicycle chain, y'all. <laughs> here it is. Here we go. Should be interesting. Count me in. Big jaw hello big jaw We've been live an hour. Uh, CG, would you mind telling me when we've been live for two hours?
There he is. World Tier 15! Ha <laughs> ha! We got it! Now, it looks like he can go up even further. Oh my goodness. We got a new visual schematic. I know exactly what it was, too. Something I've not even seen before, so... Nice. Yes! All right. Oh no, you know what? I thought that was purple. I have seen that. Well, I don't know which one it was that we got then. Uh, probably that. All right. Well, that's not a lot, but that's better than nothing. Um, we only got 10 from those things, but let's go ahead and go shoot a few things. Uh, I think it's this one I want to go to. We're going to just see if it actually allows me to go up anymore in world here because i think it should not okay We got the disintegrator. All right. Disintegrator. Level 40. Okay. I really think that I should go back and set it back down to where I'm fighting like level 40 enemies and then nope no world tiers going up
Uh, nope. That makes me wonder if it's got a bar because they're going to add more world tier at some point or what? Should be able to go ahead and get the next piece or the next thing which is here and not have to go over there, so I'm just run back then. Alright. Well I kinda think that the best thing we could do is just go start doing the, uh, the challenge tiers. Oh, excuse me. Go back to camp. So at this point, what I can basically do is go here. We'll go turn these in. Hopefully it'll give me the your at the right levels. If there was one thing in this game that I would like to do, it is move that guy in the same thing. I do not like hearing that. Uh, now that's something I don't have that I know of. Fatal Madonna. Just... By the grace of your murderous arts, another beauty... That's going to give us two pieces of gear as well. Uh, we're going to do is go ahead and just mark all. Now, go ahead and sell off everything. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... first thing that I want to do is upgrade my main weapon. Uh, that's probably going to take all of my titanium. But where we're at now, it shouldn't be too hard to do what we need. Alright. 
best one of leaving. Eight six. Town looks like it's hanging by a thread. I guess this place has always looked like that. I'm gonna try to do stuff at maybe level. Not. Definitely not, uh. Eight. The Marshall Complex, I don't want to do right now. Uh. I wish Bad was here. He had. Uh, all right, Kim Plant is supposed to be one of the easiest to do. Uh, I do not want to go up in tier level right now, so. I think that having stuff at maybe level 35 would be fine or let's go at 37 and I can do that it's just gonna require me to be on my game a little bit oh my goodness we've been detecting massive energy spikes in insurgent territory near the old chemical plant the last thing I can afford First things first, we're going to shoot those. I don't want to run over there and have them blow up on me. Now, one cool thing with expeditions is you have absolutely no reason 
to crash the paint. Just go for it. back around this way. Bait them over here. That's why you want Ultimate Storm Clip. hate it when they just do stupid shit like that. Y'all want me out here? Y'all want me out here? Okay. Let's see how much you like it now. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? You pulled me out here. What's wrong, guys? I mean, come on now. What's wrong? Y'all pull me right on out here, and then you, you all die. You want to hit somebody in the back? Okay.
You're wondering why they're exploding when I kill one. It's because I have the skill on that allows me to basically, if I kill a frozen enemy, which my gun freezes enemies, everything I do is ice. If I kill a Damn frozen it. enemy, More of them. then I get... They explode, basically. elevator in this lab yeah that matches our blueprints for the plant the elevator should lead to the heart of the facility all right uh, all I'm missing is some elevator music <laughs> Switch to disable it. Survive. Where'd you come from, big boy? I'm actually a lot more awake now than I was when we started the stream, so... We may switch over after this to uh, another game, right? I... Oh, Okay. Here we go.
go. 32 drop pod research. Shira, about those energy spikes? The insurgents had a functioning power cell down here. What did you do with it? It's disabled. I'll see if Zahidi can't take a look at it. Then I found a pod down here. You saved some lives today, Outrider. I would expect nothing less from you. All right. Outrider detected. Oh, crap. Access granted. go lots of titanium one visual schematic all right <laughs> All right. I do kind of like that it automatically brings me back here. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's that's level 37 gear that that's good fusion blast of storm with really good actually um level 37 gear is not going to give us nearly as much as the other but that gave us a lot of titanium anyway so What we got was that's got untamed power on it. I do like untamed power, but I don't necessarily need it. And then that's got power from the ashes. I don't need that. Uh that's a good gun to have, so I'm not gonna trash it yet, but we are gonna go ahead and sell those. That we literally got 90 titanium before that 75 right there that we got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need to level everything up before we focus on the Legendaries are 188. Legendary weapons are. Why are they so expensive? That's ridiculous. So we've got three level 42s. Alright. Okay. Looked over here. I think it's the helmet that we're missing. We're, we've only got two helmets. We need Grim Inventor gloves and Torrential Downpour legs and Molten Idola. I can get 100 for this. 116. Let's go ahead and do that. What I like to do is I like to level up at least one piece of gear or what I can and then sell off the rest and then just go out and do the farms again. I honestly think that my other farming method is going to be better than this. It, Yeah, it, it's better. <laughs> I'm getting more stuff uh, much easier. Outrider, you gave me but... Let's go ahead and let's go through a little bit of 
the story with my other character. Oops. I want to show off uh, my my other builds so far. So I can't do one of the other things, but um, let's go ahead and let's start with my Pyromancer. He is not the best. I'll tell y'all now, he's not the best. Um, he does do a lot better than he did. And I had a build I was going with, and I didn't have it maxed out. And I was dying left and right. And I think it, that's what was doing it, was I was dying just left and right because I didn't have my gear maxed out. So now that I've got, I believe my gear some of my gear is maxed out like level 30 on those uh that's 27 so like that one there needs to be up but the others basically are leveled up at this point you know what before we do that let's go over here talk to him let's look and see what we have on our mods all of tier 1 mods are here tier 2 we need a lot so with blue you're not going to get any tier 2 but with purple you can so yeah, all blue is done for that. Let's look at weapons. This is unexpected. Weapon. All blue tier is done. All purple tier is done. So we're good with that. Uh, there's a lot that we need to do. There is a way to easily do this. And I might show that to y'all. Uh, I might make a video about that. But... Let me show you the build right now. Uh, what we want to do is undo all of that for now. So I have a Twisted Mercy. Uh, I have two of them. I'm thinking that I'm going to scrap one of them. It's honestly not too hard to get these things. So I'm thinking if we did scrap some of these, we could just do that to, and scrap them to, to have the extra points and stuff. The extra uh, skills. Let's put that one such as awesome. actually I had all of the, the level 2 stuff so, like if we scrapped the Grim Morrow we would get the singularity and then we could put that on another piece of gear just a blue piece of gear and send that to another character basically uh, Like with this perseverance this we could actually use that. Now, what I'm looking at, untamed power, we actually have that already unlocked. Let's look at our build a little bit, see what we've got going on with this because we may be able to Normally switch out us something. far more questions than answers. Those questions. Mitigation from death and Pompeii. 
trust me. Ride the wave and damage absorber. Uh, that's a good one to have adrenaline with this character because Mad Men like that. That alchemist. really, really Scientist has saved me name. several times. Now, what we could do is if we can get a purple glove at level thirty. Uh, what we can do is it has to have tidal wave on it, and what we could do is put that on there, and I think that would really really help me a lot so we need purple gloves ants on fire alright so that's what we need to be on the lookout for here let's see what we actually have to do there's nothing here Go talk to her. Eagle. Alright, we're at the quarry. We can go do big jaw. Um, yeah. We'll just go over here and do big jaw and see how it goes. Uh, I have not done. I don't think I have finished any of them yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and set this world here. Sometimes it allows you to go in and change your world here from a certain area. I can't explain that. Uh, we want to set that to off. I do not want to go above the world here. All right. This should hit our world tier up, and then our our next thing should, uh, or our level should, should go up the pretty soon, too. Most likely what I'm going to do is news. change my, once I hit world tier 6, I'm going to change my level, my world tier back down to 3. Or I might even do 1, just finish out the the levels first. It's over this way. Now, I'm liable to not be able to do this. And it's okay if I can't. But this is the way that my build for him works. Big boys should be coming out.
Yeah. I knew it weren't going to be too good at the actual big one there. was so weak. Got him. Oh, we hit world tier six. Let me grab this stuff just in case. can't kill anything because it won't reload. I hate that. They get you in this reload loop where you lose your ammunition and then it just over and over and over you're trying to reload and they just annihilate you. So unfortunately Pyromancer he damages really good for the most part but against uh, hard hitting enemies, he just can't, or it, the class just cannot take the hit. So it's really a multiplayer class. Of course, it's what me and Bad seem to like the most, though. Uh, I, I like Techno the most now, but. Alright, so let me show you how I've got this set up. Uh, We got a new pair of pants. Okay. We got a new hand. That's good. Uh, what we'll do is go on and trade these out and then I'll switch this out. Uh, change it out right I have a specific look that I like all right I knew that was a new one All right, well, let's go back to the camp. So the way that uh, I do this, uh, as far as skills, I have heat wave, eruption, and thermal bomb. And for my class, what I do is I go up here so that I can get some more weapon damage. I get Weapon Leech, I get the Mark of the Anomaly, which is 10% more against marked enemies, I get Assault Master, and once you get Assault Master, you can stop if you want, and just come straight down here. Uh, all you've got to do is have, you take these three and put them here, and you're good to go, and this would be the same, but the way that this does, you get an extra... Uh, if they're afflicted with dash, you get 10 more damage. And then you get 10% more damage against marked enemies. And the moment burn ends, you inflict ash. So that is going to freeze your enemies, basically. Uh, that's what I really like, is that it, it freezes them. Uh, I have went down this way and up into Firestorm. I did not like it. I do like the power that you get, but I don't like the ways that certain things work. Now this would be great to have since I have explosive skills. Uh, World of Blaze would be amazing to have for that. And then 
you would just come up into here like you do with this. But this is, if you want to go more for giving your weapons more, and that does really help. Uh, you can go straight Tempest as well, but I like going on down here into Firestorm because I like doing the a night thing there, the uh, heat wave I think it is. I really like that. It, it seems to do quite a bit more than the other two as far as perking things when I've tried all of these things out in different fields and to proc the the skills heat wave seems to do the job better than another from my experience so this is the build that I currently have for it uh, burn is going to afflict 20% more damage and last 20% longer as well so I don't have an immobilized skill, so I don't need that. But if I was going to come down here, I would put it into those two. I, what I had originally done, I believe, was I had it into those two, and I had one there. But I would suggest going up here at least to this, put two into here, and from there, what you can do is... You put the two into there, then you have these two, and you have one more here and one here that you can use. So that's three more, and that those three actually fill that out. So uh, that's the way that I've done it to start with. And it does seem to work, but uh, it's not the, the best. You know? Just playing around with it, testing everything out, and... It's it's hard to figure out how to make pyromancer work. So, I'm going to switch on over to my other character right quick. We're going to go through uh, a mission or two, and then I'm going to probably call it quit. But I've got to pick up Torturer's Waste Cloth, the Helmet of the Akari, the Boots of the Lava Leech, and the Hand of the Forge, at least. Uh, the Bulwark I may have... The juggler, I may have one, I don't know. I don't think I have the bulwark, but the juggler, I definitely know I don't have. I have the quicker. So, if you look, his, his are only 255. Uh, so, the way for me to get shards for this character to level up and everything is to simply give him the gear I get from my Technomancer. There's no reason for me to farm with any of these other characters except for leveling up now. Uh, my Technomancer can do the best farming. He can do all of the stuff. So, <sighs> all right, let's uh, switch out to Oh, wow. We got us a blue. Um, let me show y'all right quick what you would do if you want to give another person uh, mods that another character has. Come in here to your upgrade. There were some roars of rather striking. And I'm just going to choose this one, okay? So, like... This one right here, I know I need to go in and I need to exchange it to Tidal Wave. <clears throat> so, that one right there. All right. Now, if you look, though, I come over here and I have a bunch of different ones that are locked. What I need to do is figure out what these are, and anything that is locked, I need to go into my Technomancer, and I need to put that on a blue item, and then send it back over. The reason you want to do blue is it's going to give you, it's going to cost less to do stuff, basically, blue item. So, 
Uh, you can even do it a a really low level blue item. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and switch on over to the other here. What's bad is this guy is world tier five, and he's not even max level. I don't know what to do with him to get him to be better. Uh, he's just it's very hard to play with. The pyros are just super hard to play with. This is my trickster. The only thing that I do with the trickster to help out is I level up her gear a little bit uh, with my other character. And it makes it much easier to go through. But at the same time, I literally... I'm just a, a beast with this. I, I'm on world tier 3, but I believe I've got to world tier 8 with her. Uh, I th think. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Yeah, we're on world tier 7 with her. Um, And I mean, no, no signs of hey, boss, slowing down. Long. I could use some help clearing the sand out of the truck's guts. I can do it, old man. Yeah. What's the catch? No catch. With you, there's always a catch. Let you storm off for no reason. How about you stop acting like you know who the hell I am, and stop trying to pretend you care? Now oh, this God. is. I know. This I is uh. A really fun build but I'm not pretending. and it well, at least he said something the trickster is really really good Whoa. what new kind of demons are you Tiago under attack we need to barricade the Tiago you hear me It's really good against crowds as well. So I'm definitely skipping the cutscenes in this. Uh, just so y'all know. You sure they're still alive? Yeah. Uh, right. So these brutes with guns. You've seen them before? What are they? They're fire, heat, blood.
think I'm actually going to go ahead and just set this down to World Tier 1 just to go through the story of it. Um, just simply to get through it and not worry about it. And I'm not worried about stuff I'm picking up. I'm just trying to get her through the story and level her up a little bit. That's it. So let me show this build right quick, just in case. Um, I'm using a Thunderbird with improved burning bullets modded into it. Uh, I've got a LMG with Fusion Blast and Storm Whip. Those are e excellent, excellent. Um, super excellent. I've just got a, a Red Widow uh, revolver. It's just to have something on. Uh, for the headpiece, I've got Untamed Power and Stand Tall. And this really helps me a lot uh, to have Untamed Power. So I've got Wind Slash. Uh, Cyclone skill gives you or increases the skill damage by 327. And then Damage Absorber. Untamed power, what that's going to do is give you, uh, like, when I teleport behind them, I'm going to do 1,728 damage to them. Anything within a 5 meter, meter radius, when I, I let loose the, uh, basically, if I'm standing in a group and I let loose the bubble, it just disintegrates them. Uh, all kind of stuff like that. So then this, got Wind Slash and Damage, damage Absorber. This, I have Thunder, Dome, and Adrenaline. Um, with this one, I have Brand Bastion and then Fresh Mag. Uh, that... Okay, that was another character. So this one, we have Backstabber. So I'm going to do an extra 2,010 damage to anything I do the Hunt the Prey skill on. And then I have Preser Perseverance music, musician, Munitions. <laughs> um, so those are... They work together excellently. Uh, and the Untamed Power is absolutely amazing. I'm using Hunt the Prey, Slow Trap, and Cyclone Slice right now, and I really like them. Cyclone Slice can sort of be exchanged with other things uh, if you want to work on them and stuff, but I really like Slow Trap and Hunt the Prey. I think that they are two of the best skills. Hmm. So, I'm at level 24, which means I should get six more uh, skill points um, at level 25, 27, and 30, I believe, or no, level 25, 26, I believe I get more skill points. But what you do is you get two per, so I think the way I have it set out or set up is that it's going down this way and then it's, you're also you should be able to get I think it's that one or I think it's that one but it's going to come back down through here okay it, it goes here it'll go here and then that way to the end of assassin this has got to be the best class for just solo play um, although I love my Technomancer, I feel like it was really hard to build it up, but this doesn't seem like it's hard at all. Uh, if it does seem hard, just drop your world here a little bit and you're fine. What the heck?
I have found that just this is a melee class for sure. We gotta go back down there and get this. This really helps out a lot. It gives you the perfect way to get away from snipers. Kinda just gotta look and see where the darn uh, dots on the map are. All right, after we get through this area, though, I'm gonna go ahead and end for tonight. I think. Um, I need to be able to get up and do some stuff tomorrow. To do so, I have to. I've got to uh, edit another video tonight if I can. Build, so. Oh, that's the one thing that's really killing my wrist is editing videos. So what I've about decided to do is start doing videos that are straight shots through. Basically, I record and I throw the intro and the outro on the way I used to. And it's really easy to do that if you're doing... Uh, If you are doing story games and stuff, With story games, for me, it's just much easier. Speaking of doing that, uh, I actually am going to do Devastator playthrough as a, a video series, I believe. Jakob.
I don't want to see that part. Outrider, we made it back to the convoy. We're waiting for Got up to level 25. So we just got a legendary pistol, a torment and agony. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and keep this on, but I'll level that up and give it to her. Uh what I like to do is anything that is basically anything I want to keep what I want to do is keep a different version of it like I want to have a different color of it. so I can tell that that's something I want to keep right now simply because it's got a few little stars Right, that we need, so we'll tear that one down. In fact, that one we need because it's got that on it as well. We'll go ahead and tear that down. Uh, so I'm going to tear any all down. That has got stuff on it that I'll I'll take. Let's just look. And see. That nothing. No. Yes. No. 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 All right. Uh, over here. Now that's one I want to keep. That's another one that I wanted to keep. I think it was. And then let's go ahead and take that one out. That one, let's take that one out and then take use or keep that one. And we'll just change the look a bit. And that way we'll get the stuff from. So that's going to give us all of those mods that we didn't have. I don't want to watch that because Jakob is kind of my favorite character in this. He reminds me. And I'm sure every, if y'all have been ready. here before, you've heard me say this There's while no I'm rush. playing this game. Hell, I'm ready. He Yaka? looks identical he to my grandpa. What's this? And interesting. Zahidi. I it just incredible. reminded me of my grandpa a lot just because of yeah. how he looked I'll and all. So. I really, really like him because of that. Alright. Let's talk to Tiago. Interesting friend. Why am I so here? Jakob it should have been me buried. Uh it should have been me. Talk to Channa. Go through the dead. So, let's see here. That is two hours extra there for uh, your streams here today. I'm going to go ahead and travel here, but I'm going to end the uh, stream here. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, CG, you have a good night. 
Oh, there we go. Um, tomorrow we should be playing Prehistoric Hunt. And... All right, yeah. Tomorrow we'll be playing Prehistoric Hunt. And what we'll do is go ahead and uh, go through two hours of that, just randomness, whatever. And then uh, probably start one of the, just start another game uh, tomorrow. And then Thursday, I doubt that I do much more Outriders on here, to be honest. Um, but Thursday, we're going to do ob Abduction uh, and try to go through another two to four hours of that. And if I need to switch over for something, I will. But we'll see how that goes. But without further ado, I will see y'all next time. Y'all have a great night. Mm -hmm.